Thanks for joining us to our top story now. Japan's Prime Minister has addressed the nation as fears intensify about a possible nuclear meltdown at a power plant struck by last Friday's catastrophic earthquake and tsunami. The company running the Fukushima nuclear power plant has admitted meltdown is a possibility and there have been two more explosions at the complex with rising fears of radioactive leakage with reports of damage to the structure protecting one of the two reactors subject to the last blasts and radiation levels have have risen outside the plant, reaching 400 times the annual legal limit. Four explosions at reactors have taken place at the nuclear plant since Friday's natural disaster damaged the cooling systems there. Several people were injured in the early explosions. Up to 160 could have been exposed to radiation since the first explosion hit the facility in northeastern Japan on Saturday. Engineers have been trying to use seawater to cool the reactors at the complex to avert a catastrophic nuclear meltdown. Well, there's now a very real threat of a nuclear meltdown at the Fukushima power plant. That's according to the Prime Minister Naoto Khan, who's just addressed the nation. He's warning people in a 30 kilometer radius of the, the power plant and these reactors in question to stay indoors if they haven't been evacuated already. Uh, that's because there's a real uh, threat and a worry that, that there could be a serious uh, radiation, major radiation leak from the, from the reactor. This follows the explosion of a third reactor, which was previously intact until this morning and the major worry now is because they believe that the reactor itself has been damaged if that is the case and they could have a major nuclear catastrophe on their hands because radiation could be pouring into the atmosphere right now and also since there's been a fire the explosion at the fourth reactor again previously intact it wasn't actually even operating at the time of the earthquake it had been shut down before then but a fire has uh, there has now prompted another radiation burst and, and leak that's according to the Prime Minister, uh, and they're trying to put out the fire at that reactor now, but uh, the Prime Minister does warn that there could be more uh, radiation leakages, and also this is very significant because this is the first time that the Prime Minister has actually addressed the nation uh, regarding the potential nuclear meltdown, meltdown there and a major radiation leak. On top of that, uh, Tepco, the Tokyo Electric Power Company, for the first time has actually admitted the possibility of nuclear meltdown there, and uh, this follows two previous the explosions of the uh, the, coast of the, where the reactor itself uh, has not been damaged, but this the is the first time that they're actually coming out and saying this. So the, uh, this, the, the situation now has suddenly got a lot more critical and it could be on the verge of a nuclear catastrophe there. Regarding the radiation levels following that uh, explosion this morning, they were shot up. They're a lot higher above the maximum permissible level. And at the nuclear uh, power plant, they've evacuated the majority of employees and staff there. They've evacuated around 180,000 people already, uh, and the rest of the people uh, living in that vicinity, they're telling to stay indoors, such as the fear of a serious radiation leak.